up nerds? My name is Leslie Smith. Welcome to the Nerdy Narrative and welcome to my very first mystery, thriller, and suspense vlog. So I have The Tainted Cup by Robert Jackson Bennett. I requested the ARC for this one on NetGalley and was approved. It comes out on February 6, 2024. I have no idea if this vlog is going to be up by then. We'll hope so, but probably not knowing me. The Tainted Cup is the first book in a new series by this author, Shadow of the Leviathan. Sounds really good, really ominous. My first experience reading Robert Jackson Bennett was the Divine Cities trilogy. Absolutely loved it. It was a very complex, involved mystery. But I suspect a lot of you discovered this author through Foundry Side, Shorefall, and I forget the third one in that trilogy. I haven't completed it yet. It's definitely on the list to get to, but when I saw this one go up on NetGalley, I immediately requested it because I really enjoyed this author's writing style. I doubt that I'm going to be able to solve this mystery, but I am doggone going to try. And a lesson I learned from the last one where I'd solved it but didn't know I had, go back and read the things that I highlight before I try to name who done it. So I'm off to read chapter one and I'll check in with you and tell you my initial impression off that first chapter. I can usually tell by a first chapter what I'm going to rate it, if I'm going to love it or not. My second check-in will be at the 20% mark. 20% in is what I give a book to hook me and if I'm not hooked by the 20% mark, I usually will DNF. So those are going to be my first two check-ins. We're going to do that today. The first order of business is making myself a cup of coffee and then we're going to settle in to read the first chapter. Catch you in a bit. some weird names. I am not going to keep up with that, except for Captain and Commander. I'm already enjoying this. I don't even think I've made it off the first page yet. Well, that's interesting. Chapter 1 update. My prediction is the Tainted Cup is going to be a very high four star rating for me. That's just a prediction off chapter one. It is a longer chapter, so I'm not sure if the entire book's gonna have long chapters or if it was just chapter one. So if you're somebody like me who likes short chapters, then just be prepared for that. Now in chapter one, we got a whole lot of information. I haven't seen any elements yet that lend toward fantasy, though there is something possible that's going to tie in later. I'm quite sure it is. Our character whose perspective we're getting is Dinius or Dinius Cole. He has arrived at the mansion where the body has been found. We don't know if it's a murder or what exactly has happened here. Apparently there is something that this world suffers from called contagion. This investigator or engraver to be more specifically is there to assess the situation, take a look at the scene, look at the grounds, interview any witnesses, and commit all of that to memory. It's very interesting how an engraver works. I'm going to leave that a secret for those of you that are planning to read this one. This empire does organic alterations. For example, in this home, the engraver noticed that this family was able to afford mushrooms that had been altered to suck in air, clean the air, and expel it cooler. So that was how this family cooled their home. I thought that was really interesting. The way that this person died or was murdered was organically. This group of really leafy trees, slender trees, or perhaps some sort of roots or grass. Anyhow, it's grown up through this room and through this body, like it has this body suspended in the air in this room. They had a very difficult time determining who this person actually was because most of the body was destroyed or consumed by whatever this is growing through it. Chapter one did a great job of grabbing my attention. We're gonna nerdy drew this. 
We have a body. We have the method in which this person was killed. We don't know if it's a murder just yet, although I'm thinking it's going to be a murder. We have the where. We have a few witnesses, though they're not very good witnesses for some reason. I think they're holding back. I think they're holding back. At least one of them is. Or maybe that's a red herring. We have a few suspicious things that the engraver noted. I'm sure some of those are red herrings thrown out by the author. We're going to find out, but I'm going to be paying careful attention to see what's going on. What we don't have is the why. What's the motive behind all of this? So that's where I am so far. My next check-in will be at the 20% mark. So now I'm going to jump back in, keep going, and I'll see you guys at 20%. Okay, checking in. I have reached the 20% mark, which is where I make my decision if I'm going to DNF the book or finish it out. I'm happy to say I'm going to finish this one out. I had a feeling in chapter one that this was going to be a hit with me. That has definitely proven true so far. I am loving it. I love the format, the way that the author is going about setting this mystery up. The dead body that is being investigated in chapter one has led to a much bigger mystery or several other mysteries that are being connected with this one death. That's not even the most fascinating part of this book to me. It's all of the organic stuff in it. All of the different ways that plants are being altered into other things like fern paper. People use fern paper in their homes because the way that it's grown, it repels bacteria and doesn't allow it to grow. In addition to plants being altered, people can be altered as well, augmented, become something else. It does shorten their lifespan. It does usually make them sterile, but it gives them different abilities that make them very useful. One of the many uses that some of these augmented people have is helping when wet season happens. There's been a few hints of this so far leading up to it. Where I'm at in chapter eight, something really big has happened. Something has breached the seawalls. One of these mysterious leviathans that I've been hearing about, and that's where the name of the series comes from, I am assuming. But apparently during the wet season, these leviathans, these creatures that are as big as mountains, come and attack the seawalls. And one has just breached. I am so excited to read more, see what's going to happen. But I hit that 20% mark. I wanted to check in. I also, it's pretty late. I need to get a shower and then I'll crawl in bed with my Kindle, see how far I can get tonight. Another surprising delight to this story is the humor. Everything has continued to be from Den's perspective, the engraver I mentioned at the beginning of the video. So the investigator that he works for is Anna. Anna is a very eccentric woman. She's very smart. She's been augmented herself or altered. And she does funny things like wears a blindfold because she feels that taking away one or two of your senses makes your others sharper and allows her to think better. She has a very funny thought process. I definitely get the Sherlock Holmes reference now after meeting her and getting to know her a little more thoroughly. But what is really hilarious about her, and I don't know if y'all are like this, but I think it is absolutely absolutely hysterical when you meet an older person and then all of a sudden they just drop a f-bomb out of nowhere. Like I just for some reason find that absolutely hilarious. Anna has given me many moments like that. I'm looking forward to many more throughout the rest of this book. That's all I'm going to say for now. I'm going to finish this book out, update you guys on my thoughts in the end, see if it does turn out to be a four star read like I predicted after reading chapter one. So that's going to do it for now. I'll be back as soon as I finish to let you guys know how it turns out. Hey guys, back to give you a final update on The Tainted Cup by Robert Jackson Bennett. Absolutely loved it. Top marks across the board on all of the elements that I look at when I'm reading a book, but the ones that had the highest were the atmosphere, the writing style, and the intrigue. I really enjoyed seeing this world, this empire, and all of its rings come to life. That's one thing I'm absolutely looking forward to in the coming novels in this series. I'm not sure how many there may be, but the writing style is always excellent from Robert Jackson Bennett, so he held up to the same standard that I had from reading his previous works. It starts off, we have this one 
mysterious death that leads to other mysteries and of course a grander scale of what's going on that I believe is going to span over the upcoming series. So 100% would recommend this to you if you love mystery, if you love urban fantasy, if you love just fantasy. I think you would really have a good time with this novel. It has a lot of great humor, sarcasm, wit. I just had a fantastic time with the characters. I loved learning about all the different ways that this empire altered people and plant life just anything organic they would change using the blood of the leviathans who attack the outer rings of the empire every wet season so i'm looking forward to learning more this has become a highly anticipated series for me so you can definitely expect to hear lots of excitement and anticipation as this series continues i hope this vlog did a good enough job telling you about this book without spoiling it so you can determine if it's one that you want to pick it's up now available for purchase i'll have links in the description box below you are absolutely going to want this beautiful book on yourself the u.s version is beautiful the uk version is even more beautiful let me know in the comments down below do you plan to pick up a copy of this book and if so which version is your favorite which one is going to go on your shelves again thank you so so much for watching have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll catch you in the next one